Uh, and next we have a personal story about a Manitoba woman who is living and dealing with cancer. Her name is Lisa Mitchell and she has uh, been dealing with a devastating diagnosis. She's 48 years old. She's from Brandon. She has metastatic bone cancer and she doesn't know how much time she has left, but she's not dwelling on the sadness. Lisa runs a channel on YouTube called Lisa is Busy Living and she vlogs about what she's up to. We are headed to the White Shell, uh, which uh, is a provincial park on the border of Manitoba and Ontario, and it's beautiful there, primarily for our sledding trip, but uh, the vlog is going to be about the places we're going to visit. So some of the places we're going to visit are going to be Rennie, um, Pinawa, hopefully Lee River, West Hawk Lake, Falcon Lake, etc., etc. Lisa is on the line from Brandon to talk more about her story and her vlog. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. So a lot of people hear cancer vlog and uh, devastating diagnosis, and they think that this is going to be videos of sadness. Doesn't sound like heading out uh, sledding and uh, where you were going there was a sad story. <laughs> no, no, we had a blast. Uh, and my very first vlog in which I basically talked and explained why I was doing it, I was very clear in that vlog that the rest of my vlogs were not going to be about cancer and we're just going to be about the fun things that, you know, I want to do, you know, with my husband or with friends and family and uh, just to share those experiences with people. And yes, it's very important to me that those were, that those will be fun stories and uh, hopefully provide some entertainment to people that uh, choose to watch it. What do you hope this does sort of uh, when you look at people watching watching the videos? There's a, there's a personal level, you know, of course, your friends and family, those who know you. But I mean, for myself, I don't know you, but I, I got this joy and, and a sort of a different perspective on what it might be, you know, on living with an illness, but living. Uh, yeah, you know, I, it's exciting to me. I mean, I'm still learning about it. You know, I, you don't become an expert vlogger overnight, but that to me is part of the fun. Uh, you know, I'm very grateful to my husband. You know, it was totally his idea. Uh, he's my, what I call, tech support. But, you know, I've been, people have reached out to me from as far away as uh, BC. You know, surprisingly, people that used to live in Brandon will, you know, watch. We have a, a thing called eBrandon, you know, that things get posted on there. And I, I make sure I get, I post it there. And people that used to live here often watch for that. And I've had people message me from very far away. And, you know, they seem to enjoy it and, uh, you know, find it inspiring in their own way. And that makes me happy. That's, that's what I'm looking for. How has it, um, how has it helped you? What, is it, what does it do for you when you vlog? Um, well, to be honest with you, when I first started doing it, it was really more for me. It was kind of an outlet just to, to try and deal with it. You know, you, you have a couple of choices. You have two choices, really, as far as I'm concerned, when you're given a diagnosis like that. You know, I was very angry about it at first, but, uh, you know, your two choices are really you can feel sorry for yourself and kind of sit around and not do anything, or you can choose to continue to live your life to the best of your ability. I mean, I have, you know, good and bad days, I think just like everybody else does in this world, but uh, I really just want to enjoy it, and I have the ability to choose the things that I want to do and, and have fun doing it, and that's that's what I want and I want to share it with people and if they have a laugh along the way or enjoy it or find out something new that's that's to me that's what it's that makes it worth it who named your vlog Lisa uh, actually my husband did he at uh, Christmas time he he surprised me with a video that he'd made up with clips from all of our friends and family uh, encouraging me that this was something that they thought I could do and that I would be good at it and he actually named it, it was from my favorite movie actually, The Shawshank Redemption. There's a line in there that Morgan Freeman says where he, said, he says, you can get busy living or get busy, busy dying. dying. Yeah. And that's where Russ took it from because uh, that is one of my favorite movies and I thought it was pretty appropriate. So, yeah. What's the reality of your diagnosis? Where's your cancer at now? Uh, so, I was re-diagnosed. I, I was originally diagnosed with breast cancer in late 2014. Uh, it actually had not spread to my lymph nodes. I just had a lump pack to me and some radiation and moved on with my life, and I thought that was going to be the end of it. And last year, what I thought was a gym injury actually turned out to be that it had returned, and uh, it had spread to my liver and uh, most of my, you know, most of my bones in my body, primarily around ribs and things like that. Um, 
so what do you physically feel like because of it what's it what's it like for you that yeah how does it affect your energy level uh actually at this point not too badly uh, I'm one of those people who reacts to medications that they give you, so it was a little bit of a rocky rocky start, particularly on my bone treatment. That actually made me sick, and they tinkered with that and got that under control, and uh, I actually had lost about 30 pounds. I've put all that weight back on, and I actually feel quite well. I, I try and go to the gym still. Um, again, have good and bad days. I have the odd, what I call, green day, where I'm not feeling very good, and then other days, you know, I feel like I could uh, paint the whole house top to bottom. So, uh, but for the most part, I'm feeling quite well. I'm a little stiff, but you know, not nothing really that I can complain too much about. There's lots of other people out there, I'm sure, that don't feel as well as I do. So when, I, I feel lucky. When you said that it felt like a gym injury, I'm just really curious. What mm -hmm. was it like? A cramping, or was it like? A no, I would, was doing some pulley weights with my trainer, and my, my shoulder kind of gave out, God. and I thought I had pulled a muscle, but uh, I had uh, consistent pain in my rib area, and kind of went away and came back, and turns out, uh, you know, because I had cancer in my ribs, I think it just kind of failed just with the weight training, but, uh, um, and that's what started that all. <laughs> What do the vlogs give to you, given that you've, I understand you've had to stop working and such, so yes. is it, do the vlogs help with, uh, with that? Yes, it was one of the reasons, you know, my husband thought about it, because uh, I've explained a few times to many people that, you know, when you're working, you know, and I had a very high demand, you know, busy job, and all of a sudden you're not working anymore, it's, a, it's an enormous shock on the system. It's not like a planned retirement or you're going, okay, next week I'm going to retire and that's great. When you're thrown into that all of a sudden, it, it really is a shock on the system. And honestly, I had I did feel a little bit that I'd lost my sense of purpose. I, I really missed, um, you know, I was in a job where I was, you know, with clients, you know, facing clients all the time, talking to my staff. So going from that to not having that was was a shocker. So the vlog gives me that. Uh, you know, it's not a job to me, but it gives me something that I want to do and something that I can work on and also connect with lots of people out there that, you know, even though they're not sitting right in front of me, I know that I can connect with them. So that was a big part of it. How much will this series of vlogs act as um, a remembrance for your family? Oh, for sure. You know, I've been asked the question, you know, a thousand times, you know, people always want to know, well, how long do you have? And the simple answer is nobody knows. Not even the best doctor can tell you that. Uh, so for sure, I look at it as well as a, as a lovely memory that will be there and people can watch it. It will always be there and it will be a nice, uh, you know, diary, if you will, of all the fun things I, I was able to do. So yeah, for sure, it'll be something that they can watch many times over, which makes me happy. Boy, we hope we give you some good weather to make some awesome spring videos. Yes, I'm looking forward to a much, you know, I wasn't feeling well most of last summer, so I'm pretty excited to to have this summer and to be feeling so good. So I've got I've got lots of goodies lined up. Uh, more, obviously, you can do more things in yeah. warmer weather than you can when it's minus 35. So I've got lots of ideas. And every time I have an idea, I write it down. Otherwise, it goes out of my head. So I do have a pretty good list going on right now that I intend to, to work on some, probably see well, more from me over the summer for sure. Thank you so much for your time this morning as you move bravely forward and we appreciate you uh, being so personal and sharing out your vlog with us. No problem, thank you very much. That's Lisa Mitchell, she's 48 years old, she lives in Brandon uh, with uh, cancer that's quite advanced. She's documenting her life on a YouTube channel, it's called Lisa is Busy Living.